Welcome back. I'm doing another draft. So here, I think uh, the pick is Palaka worm. So I think we're just going to take Palaka worm here. So this is a slightly harder pick. Um, Sift, Essence Scatter, Gall Gallon Cavalry, and Pegasus Courser are all really good cards. But I'm going to take Sift. Uh, I really don't like blue green. Uh, sorry, uh, not blue green. Blue green I like. I don't like white green. So, and that's the pick. Okay, I mean, Angel of Dawn's really good, probably better than uh, Electrify. Okay, so let's take Angel. Ooh, Poison Tip Archer. I really like Poison Tip Archer. I think he's really good with, um, what's going on? Okay, I have no idea why it's not in a print screen. Come on. Oh, that's super frustrating. That's super annoying. Whatever. All right. Um, we'll take a poison departure. My dog seems to be very unhappy about something. I apologize for that. Let me go see what's going on. So maybe the pick is like a Druid of Horns in case we end up doing something with uh, green, white. But there's also, I mean, there's a ton of black cards here. It's not indicative that uh, black is open. I actually think the best card is like Boggart Brood. Uh, I'm not sure what the pick here is. I'll try Druid of Horns. I mean, maybe we could do something. Maybe we can make it work. Lightning Mare, Neonate. I do like Neonate, I think it's a great card. It's very good in this grindy type of deck with uh, Poison Departure. Barring anything else, I'm happy picking it here. Still not working. Yeah, I mean, Google needs to get their shit together over be sweet because as it is, people are not going to use it. I mean, Macabre Waltz is also really good in the pack. But I'd rather have a first Vampire in UN8 than a first uh, Macabre Waltz. Huh. We don't have a single artifact, so one of the machine isn't really doing much. So I think it's between a giant spider and a daybreak chaplain. Hmm. Maybe black white is open. Serpent. Looks like we're getting cut pretty hard in blue. I think plummet is the pick here. Okay, so now. I mean, we do have Talons of Wildwood for Druid of Horns, pretty much for nothing else. Would I rather have like just a solid 3-3 body or mediocre enchantment? I think Center Courser is pretty strong. I don't have any three drops. I'll take Courser. I think a 3-3 body is good in this format. Okay, now I get a Talons anyway. Uh, so Spider or Meandering River. So Meandering River helps us splash Sift. And Giant Spider just straight up wins his games against Flyer. So I think it's a Giant Spider.
but maybe there's some matchups where we want this. So scarring potentially, but more, more likely we'll need sovereigns. But if we do something with life gain, infernal scarring right now only works with druid. And even then, it's not like a amazing effect. Huh. Well, I wish I'd taken that uh, blue splash, but no, you cannot pass that. This is the best limited card in the format. So, I mean, we're really tempted to kind of somehow finagle our way into blue because this is strong enough to where you still play it even if uh, your deck's really mediocre. Like, uh, even if the colors that you need to support this are mediocre, like, you'll still play it. It's that strong. But here, we could take a stag. Stag's really good. It is another four drop. I'm not crazy about another sift or psychic corrosion. I think there are much better cards here. We only have, like, essentially one white card with Angel of the Dawn. Hmm. We could also just take a rapid bite. I think the pick is rapid bite. Yeah, it's a rapid bite. As much as I like stagged, I don't think I mean I don't, I don't think white's gonna we have good we have solid green cards. We still have Palaka Worm. I'm I'm happy with the with the green that I have. So wow. Can we actually play this thing? We have talents. Maybe there's some way we can play. It's not a terrible card. And again, I don't think white is happening. Let's just go for it and have some fun. All right, so this helps splash, but we're not red. Another angel. Well, no, I can't pass another angel. That's just, that's just silly. All right, this guy get back in there. So I guess we're dumping the black. So we're doing something like Well, this thing we can't play in a three-color deck. Forget that. So I think Giant Spider can come right in. Probably something like this. I guess we can take an Aether Tunnel in case we get uh, the Hexproof Mare. Another 3-3 three, three body, don't mind. So Foul Orchard helps us splash Poison Departure. Hmm. I think I'm going to take a foul orchard in case I do decide to splash something. Sea serpent, what divination? I guess sea serpent. Okay, essence. Essence scatter is really good. It's it's kind of looking. Uh, this deck looks kind of off, to be honest. Right now, we need we need to really solidify uh, ourselves in in pack three because right now I'm not hoping to win with uh, open form and talents. I really need to open the um, vine mare. That would be a very strong card in my deck with uh, a bunch of enchantment. In that case, we could potentially even cut cut the white, but it's still worth playing Tezzeret. I mean, if we can get Tezzeret down and just start making 
um, one once. It's pretty strong. Let's pick the rest. Let's see what we get in pack three. Okay, definitely not playing this. I think the pick is Skyrider Patrol. Excellent card. Yeah, I'm happy taking this here. Skyrider Patrol is very good. Desecrated Tomb, not the rare we're looking for. We don't really have any life gain synergies for Bloodlord. Uh, maybe just another essence scatter. Sky scanner, actually, sky scanner is good. I don't like a sky scanner here. Hmm. I, I think it's just like a second sky scanner. Uh, that's a late, that's a late militia bugler. Somehow, somebody's getting really lucky with all these good white cards, but I think we just need to take an omen speaker, right? We're not really doing this whole Druid of the Horns thing. What do we have? Oaken form and a Talons? Is this really the route we want to go? Maybe even like just a dagger back is the better pick here. Rabbit bites. I'm just gonna take a dagger dagger back. Divination, always good. Fountain's not the worst in this deck. This is a very controlling deck that wants to go late. Angels, I think they're not happening. No, you stay in. You stay in. So maybe just another talents. Just a few final cards coming around here. Uh, yeah, I'll take a Rupture Spire, why not? I don't think I'm splashing anything, but um, maybe there's some matchups where I will want to splash.
This is a pretty pretty straightforward deck. I mean, I really don't need a Rupture Spire or anything. I'm not splashing. As it stands, I'm not splashing. I could try to make room for this. Problem is, I don't have a single mana anymore. Like, to play this guy for five green? Yeah, it's not happening with eight islands. Nine, foul orchard. I guess this is the deck. Skyrider, Tazred, Balaka Worm, as win conditions. Also double frill sea serpent. Yeah, let's see how this deck does. I think it's like a I think it's a C plus. It's nothing special. Even with Desiree, it's like a C plus. All right, let's see how this deck does. This should be fairly entertaining at a minimum. Uh, I do not want to play first. Nope, this is good. Let's then scatter into divination. That's really unfortunate. Opponent, opponent, most of five. 